Hi, I'm Evan. And I'm Taryn, and we're here from Roar Rocket Skateboard Company to show you our brand new axe handle kit. This kit was made in collaboration with Vin from Philly Axe Co., who helped us design these shapes so that they would be perfect for competitive axe throwing. Here's everything we have in the kit. First, we have our thinner press 10.5 by 40 inch bag, along with a bottle of Type On Free glue. Two pieces of wax paper, 15 pre-cut axe handle sheets, five of which you can choose the color of, two backer sheets, flat breather netting, an edge scraper, two elastics, a loot bag which contains a pump, a glue roller, ceiling tape, sandpaper, a measuring cup, and also an add-on for the kit is our new profile scraper. This is specifically made for axe handles. This kit is also available as a big axe or get the double kit and you can build both shapes. If you wanna build a more custom axe like this one, you can consider our gradient veneer, which you can glue up into a blank like this and cut out your own custom shape. Now we're gonna show you how to make these axe handles. First, we're gonna make sure that we have all our layers in the order we want. We've also got our backers, which are gonna go on either side of the veneer, along with a piece of wax paper in between each to ensure that it does not stick. We're gonna work together to glue up this axe handle, but if you're working alone, you might wanna consider gluing up half at a time just to make sure that you have enough time to get everything into the bag and press before the glue dries. We already primed our glue rollers, so we're good to get rolling. We're gonna make sure that we're aligning all the veneers as we go. stack all ready to go. We'll put it in the bag. And there is the finished product. Woo! Yeah! And so you're going to want to come back and check this in around 15 minutes to make sure it's holding a good seal to make sure you seal the bag properly. And you can go ahead and just pump out a little bit of extra air after that time. And if you're getting a lot of resistance, you know the bag is nice and tight. It's good to go. After waiting at least eight hours, it's now time to open up the tap bags. And there you have it. Now we're gonna take our edge scraper to flatten out the size of the handle. Now that you've scraped the edge of the axe handle flat, it's time to move on to a 45 degree from here. Now we can use sandpaper for the finish. Once you've gotten the desired shape of your axe handle using the scraper and the sandpaper, you can move on to the axe handle profile scraper to fine tune your shape. Now that your axe handle is done being shaped, you can now apply a coat of finish. Here's an example of what the big axe handle could look like before you hang your head on it. If you want to build an axe handle like this, make sure you check out our new pre-shaped axe handle kit available at roarrocket.com. If you have any questions, call or email us or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching!